My assumption is that you're probably familiar with the Angular CLI, and that's the same commit line that I'm gonna be using to create the service that I need. So I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna scroll to the command overview, and you can see all the different commands that you can run with the Angular CLI. And the one that I'm looking for is this generate here. And you use this generate to create stuff, like to create component, create services, create classes. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this generate here. It's gonna take me to a more detailed page of this command. And what I want to do is to use this service here. So this generate service, let's click on that. And you can see to generate a service, you can do ng generate and then service, you pass in the name of the service with some options if you want to, or you can just do ngg and then service and then pass in the name of the service. So I'm gonna copy the shortcut command, so the second one, and I'm gonna open my terminal. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this command. And now I need to give my service a name. What I also like to do when I'm using services with Angular, I like to put all my services inside a folder. And to do this, I'm just gonna pass in a new folder. So I'm gonna do service. So what Angular is gonna do is, or what the Angular CLI is gonna do, it's gonna place that user service that I'm gonna create inside this service folder. And I'm just gonna call it user. And Angular is gonna take care of adding the that service that TS. So let's go ahead and run this command. I'll say yes on that. And you can see that the Angular CLI created two files for us, the user service that spec.cs and then the user service that cs. So this is how you create a service in Angular. And we're gonna take a look at what this service looks like in the code. So I'm back in VS Code. And what I wanna do is go to this file explorer here. And you can see that we have this new folder service. And I'm gonna go ahead and expand that. And you can see we have our two files. And the file that I'm interested in is the user.service.cs file. Now the spec file is a test file and we're not gonna be doing any testing in this course, but the TS file, the user service TS file is the file that we're interested in. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you can see that the Angular CLI stubbed out the class for us, putting in the injectable and provide that service in the root of our application, which means this service is gonna be provided in the main module of our application, which is the app module that we have. Now, what we need to do is to inject this HTTP client so that we can start making HTTP requests to a backend service. 